Get them biting the nails. Let's not prolong the agony. OK. Here are the results of the 1994 series of Stars in Their Eyes. For finalist number one, Tom Jones, he scored 14,678. Whitney Houston was second. Let's see how she did. She got 30,579. She now leads. Richard Fairbrass was contestant number three, and he got 12,633. Whitney's still leading. Fourth came George Formby. Let's see how he hit. He got 22,216 votes. Fifth came Jim Reeves. And he scored 16,728. Still not good enough to beat Whitney. Let's see how finalist number six, John Bon Jovi, did. He got 15,451. Let's see if George Michael, as finalist number seven, did better. He got 27,882. It's still not quite enough. Finalist number eight is Eddie Reader. She got 30,877. She now leads, but can finalist number nine, Marty Pello, beat that? He got... See that score? 150,000. I believe it. I know. I know. It's good, isn't it? I was speechless last time. Oh, oh, this is unbelievable. Fabulous. What new fiance and everything? Yeah. God, this is great. Next thing, top of the pops. I tell you. <laughs> I wish. I say, yeah. Look, it's been a great, great final. Congratulations to all of tonight's finalists and a big thanks to all of you for watching and for voting. And finally, a special thank you to Samantha Norman and the OB team in Oswald Street. They've been a delight. And to all the musicians and dancers and support team who make the show what it is and make my life that little bit easier. Well, mostly. I don't know about tonight. Anyway, it's been fabulous. But for now, the stage, the night and the stars in their eyes year belong quite rightly to John Finch as... Marty Pello. <laughs> Doesn't matter how I try 
Take care and have a great summer. Good night.